as promised now we have to perform the other steps that is assign users and groups to our application so let's move on to assign user and, and groups and here you don't you see we don't have any users assigned for this application so click on add and on the users select none selected and here you can see the list of some users you can select the user and click on select but before doing these things we have to create one user so let's move to azure ad again click on users and here you can see you can see this list of my users which i have already told that i have six users already created so let's create one new user and click on create new user and then you can see we have two options create user or invite user so we will continue using create user so let's enter username username let's type test user one it's already there so let's type test user two and test user and first name last name these are not mandatory but let's fill it out and you can see auto generate password and let me create the password so we will click on auto generate because so let's click on auto generate password and let's save it out somewhere on our notepad so this is our user name user id test user 2 and this is our password we have to change this password when we will try to log in so let's click on create and the user is not showing up so we have to refresh this page again okay so now you can see that we have test user 2 present here and now our task is to assign this user to our application before that you also can copy it copy the user id from here so let's move on to assigning this user to our applications for that click on home azure active directory and click on enterprise applications yeah. and select our application that is test sample and in this application let's perform first step that is assign user and group Click on add user and group and click on none selected under users. You can ignore this one. And now you can see we have test user to click on that user and then click on select. Now click the assign button so that this user will get assigned to this application. And for your information, now this user will be able to do single sign on. So you can see many options here like disabled and it is showing it is highlighted on disabled because currently we haven't enabled single sign on we just have assigned a user and that doesn't mean that we have enabled the single sign on so for this as I've already told that I'm going to set up single sign on using SAML so let's click it and click on SAML and here we have to do multiple configurations but before that i would like to tell that we need these two fields which are shown as required these two fields are necessary and we have to fill these values here so we will continue configuring this on the next video thank you and if you like this video please click on subscribe button thank you